guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another review and wear test on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have been using this quite a bit for the last couple weeks and I figured I would share it with you guys and let you see how it wears throughout the day. You guys seem to really enjoy my L'Oreal one that I did, so I definitely wanted to do it on this foundation as well, let you know my thoughts, because if you've been watching me on my Snapchat and everything like that, you know I've had mixed reviews and I'm going to give you my final review today. I have 20 minutes so I have to be out the door, so I'm going to hurry. I'm a talkative ass person, so hopefully I can get through this. <laughs> um, today I have a meeting. I have to work out as well. Unfortunately, I have to work out with makeup on today. This is the only day that I could film this video, so we're going to see how it holds up when I work out. And my workouts have been super intense lately, so we're going to see. Just a little rundown on this foundation. It is $5.99. I did purchase mine from Walgreens, but you can get it on the site as well. There's 20 shades, and it's $5.99 a piece. This has four stars on their site. It has only nine reviews. Let me read the description real quick. It says, Your Skin Only Better, our new high-performing skin perfecting foundation, underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless, camera-ready makeup every time. So as most of you know, I do have oily skin. Now, I have tried this foundation with the Milani Prime Shield, and I am not a fan of this primer. Not at all. It's too slippery, it's too like silicone, and it just, it did not work. It slid all over the place. It wouldn't even like sit on my skin right. It would just move around everywhere and it was a hot mess. I have found that I love it with my normal primers that I've been using recently, which is the Smashbox Primer Water and the Canon Austin Mattifying Primer. If you have a primer combo that you love, I recommend using that. So hopefully I have a color to match me today. I have three shades, but I can only find two right now, so. Welcome to my life. I have cream beige, which is medium, and desert beige, which is medium dark. I did self-tan, so I think I'm going to go with this one because I'm definitely a medium dark right now. So I'm going to quickly prime. Also, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you saw that I got the Drunk Elephant Skincare as a PR. I've been using it recently. You guys were like, oh my god, you're going to be obsessed with it. You're going to love it. Whenever you guys were sending me those messages, I did not hear one bad thing about it. And I... Totally agree. I'm obsessed with that skincare. I feel like it has changed my skin. Might be my new favorite skincare. I actually ordered some more. You know I love it if I got it as a PR and then I went out right away and purchased it just so I would not be without it. I'm going to update you guys in my January hits and misses, but so far, so good. I'm loving it. If you're wondering what self-tanner I use, I do use Loving Tan. It's my favorite. This, I mean, this is like literally before and after. I do not self tan my face because I have really sensitive skin and it's just, ne it never works. It never works for me. This is a bottle right here. It is one fluid ounce and it is a glass bottle. This also comes with a spatula on the end, which at first I did not think I was going to like the spatula, but now I really like it. I think it's so much easier to just put it on your face like this than it is to put it on the back of your hand, clean your hand off, all that other kind of stuff. I'm going to use the L'Oreal sponge that I love. Check that video. It was the last one. I'll put a little card right here if you didn't check it out. I do find that this is a buildable foundation. Like if I feel like I need a little more coverage around my nose cheek area, I can totally go back in and put more on and it's not going to look cakey. Now when I first, I think it was like either the first or second time. The first time I used it, I used it on a Facebook Live, which if you haven't seen that, I will link it down below. You can check out my Facebook there. I liked it in that Facebook Live, but I noticed it didn't wear too well throughout the day. But I don't know if it's because my skincare has changed and my skin feels a little bit more balanced. I feel like this is holding up a lot better now. I don't know why, but I just feel like it is. And then the second time I used it, I used it with an Urban Decay primer. And I was just trying out the Urban Decay primer and literally, you guys, that night, I had little breakouts all over my face, and I was like, oh, hell no. Really quickly, before I keep telling you the story, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape and Better Skin Concealer to conceal under my eyes. But you can see right here how it looks on the skin. It does have, like, a dewy finish, but once you set it, it looks nice and matte, and once it just sinks into the skin, it looks a little bit better. But it gave me full coverage. I know I'm looking crazy because it's super dark, but it's okay. We got this. Somebody sent me a tweet saying that one of the Urban Decay primers is giving people allergic reactions and I believe they pulled it off the shelf at Sephora. I believe. This is what the Instagram post said. I was like, oh my god, that makes sense. Like, if people are breaking out because of it, I could be breaking out because of it. Ever since I quit using that primer, but I used a different one that day. I think it was like a complexion primer or something like that, and it didn't work, so I put the D-Slick on top of it, and it was just a hot damn mess. It wasn't the D-Slick one. I can't even say that name. It wasn't the Dislick one, it was the other one that I had tried that broke me out and that was giving other people reactions. So I was like, okay, I'm going to give the Wet n Wild one another try 
and see if it looks better you know what I mean and oh my gosh you guys I don't know what it is but I have been loving it lately just loving it now I did try it with that Milani primer and I hated it just because I did not like the primer that kind of primer and the way it feels is not my favorite to wear because usually they don't sit well on my skin I've been loving it with my regular primers lately I haven't been using the Tarte Shape Tape just because I'm almost out of it I'm using it today because I want more of a full coverage finish. I use it with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer like I did in my last video. If you want to check that out, I will link it down below. And I've just been obsessed with it. I think it is so good. The very first time I tried it, I believe I used the Photo Focus Concealer. And I think that's what threw me off. Like, I think that's why I got so oily in my cheeks and stuff. Because I obviously bring my concealer down like in a triangle. And I did not like it. I feel like the concealer was a little like greasy and just sat really weird on my skin it just looked cakey and gross I mean honestly so I wouldn't recommend the concealer but I do really love this foundation that's what it looks like everything just blends beautifully on top I mean you could use this sponge to blend it out and you'll be good I really like it doesn't accentuate pores right now it's starting to look a little bit more matte because we do have that concealer on so what I'm gonna do is finish the rest of my face I'll come back show you guys a little update and what it looks like with the rest of my products on and then I will update you guys throughout the day so I'll be back in just a second okay guys so I finished my makeup this is what it looks like with everything on top doing another kind of simple glam today it is currently 1008 so I need to head out the door I will see you guys in a few hours and give you a little update on this foundation but so far so good I always like the way that it looks after I've put all my powders and stuff on Okay guys, so it is currently 2.43. I just got back from the meeting and everything. So this is what the foundation is looking like. It definitely has like a little glow to it, but it's not something, normally I wouldn't say, dogs are here. Um, normally I would say I don't like it, but this is the kind of glow that like, I mean, it's a little bit oily, but it doesn't look terrible in my opinion. I feel like it looks okay. It's not like overly oily where I look gross. I feel like my skin pretty much still looks pretty good with the highlight and everything. My pores don't look too crazy or anything like that. So it's still going strong. I haven't blotted or put powder on, which I'll probably blot after this. Um, but I don't think I'll put more powder on. I'm going to go to the gym, work out. We're going to see how well it holds up during workouts. Um, but yeah, it's holding up well so far in my opinion. I like the way it wears throughout the day. If you do have oily skin, it's not going to stay completely matte the entire time. But it doesn't look bad in my opinion. So still going strong hi cutie Cutie but duty so my phone is downstairs charging but it's around 7 30 7 40 and i figured i would do my final update for you so i could get this video up tonight and i'm really really wanting to take this makeup off to be quite honest with you and so this is what my skin looks like i did blot once blotted my face after the first update and um when i was by my back door filming downstairs I did go to the gym after that. I was sweating, but it stayed on. So I want you guys to see my highlight, my contour, my my contour, contour, my blush is still on. It didn't really kick up around my nose like that L'Oreal foundation did. It just looks a lot better for a long period of time. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this blotting sheet and we're just going to see if we can look a little bit better. Oh yeah, look at that. See the difference? I mean, that just kind of confirms it for me. I do really like it. You can see the difference now. This side looks more matte. Um, you can't really tell my pores are as visible because that oil is soaked up. But look at the difference. I mean, hello. Amazing. What an easy fix for this foundation. So I really like this foundation. I give it a two thumbs up. I think it's great. I think it's great for oily skin. Good job. Wet and wild. I'm pumped about this. The concealer, not so much, but this is damn good for $5.99, and it does not break me out like that Urban Decay Primer did. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know down below in the comments what you want me to wear test for you next, and I will see you guys in my next video. We are cruising in on heaven, and I know we'll be alright, be alright, be alright, yeah, I know we'll be alright. We are closer now than ever.